thanks for coming back to check out another video that i posted thank you thank you thank you but before we get started make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure you subscribe to my channel so it should be gray not red if it's red that means you subscribe so click the subscribe button then also make sure you follow me on all my social medias and turn on that post notification bell so you know when i post another video so this video is what no one tells you about being a mom so let's just get right so, into it number one thing no one tells you about being a mom when i was pregnant i forgot so much stuff i was like always forgetting stuff well once you become a mom you forget a lot of stuff you forget a lot of stuff like for example this is so embarrassing <laughs> for example i packed all my baby stuff you know you got the diaper bag you got to make sure you get the diapers wipes change of clothes burp cloths receiving blankets you got all that then you know at the time i was breastfeeding at the time um but I, tr I transitioned her to formula um i forgot all her bottles one time and she cried and i'm like okay let me go grab the bottle and got the bottles <sighs> so i had to go all the way back home that was like the longest drive because i was far away and i forgot her bottles and i feel it's like the most crappiest mom but don't ever feel like you're a crappy mom it is what it is you know what i'm saying you're gonna forget stuff you're gonna and just it is what it is so the next thing is sympathizing for other moms so once i became a mom i started to sympathize for other moms because at first before i had a kid i'm like you know your kid's loud in the restaurant like you can't like don't tell your kid to shut up but like control that you know what i'm saying but once i became a mom i realized yeah now you would do anything to keep your kid quiet so people making goo goo faces and looking silly I, I understand you know when moms are trying to carry everything at one time and it's just i now sympathize for other moms what other moms go through and being tired and having attitude and just feeling so then the next thing i would say for being a um what no one tells you about being a mom is cleaning 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 once you become a mom, I'm telling you, you will be cleaning so much, you just, just that's all you know, it's cleaning. Because you'll clean the house, and then you turn around the next five minutes, and it's back to crazy. And it's like, especially if you, you're in a relationship, like, as a single mom, I don't know, because I'm not a single mom. But I know I have to clean this house all the time. And it, you, your senses are kind of more, I guess, heightened, or I don't know the word for it, but you know you're you're just like why is this dirty like why is this right here you're cleaning you're all, always washing clothes like all the time clothes 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 wash 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 like that's all you know because your baby is going to my daughter poops through everything and the poop stains all her clothes so i'm literally washing clothes and i'm washing i'm washing i'm using stain lifters to try to lift up this and it's just crazy cleaning and uh, yes you are going to be cleaning especially like i'm the type which my mom raised me like you don't want nobody to come to your house and be like it stank like even family because we gonna talk about you when we leave the house we're gonna talk about did you see how she got plates right there and like old food and all that my mama raised me it need to be clean at all time like when you eat as soon as you take that last bite it better be in the sink and it be better be washed you know what i'm saying you don't leave your clothes nowhere so yes i am a very clean person as is but once having a child it's always clean i'm always cleaning her toys you know anybody you know babies can get sick obviously everybody can get sick but you know it's just clean 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 so i will say the next thing is feeling accepted by other moms i just feel like when i see another mom i'm like we got this connection like i might not even know you but we connected on that mom level like you just feel accepted like when you're walking walking around and you know like for example i went to my boyfriend's family's house and they're like you got spit up on your shirt like why are you walking around with spit up on your shirt because i'm a mom my daughter spit up okay and what about it and what about it like you know you start to feel accepted when other moms like you know i know i know you ain't got spit up on your shirt your daughter spit up oh my gosh my daughter used to spit up all the time and it's like you can like once again feeling that connection with other moms it's just like it's relieving because they know what you're going through you know what i'm saying and it's like you feel accepted 
men don't know all the stuff women go through when it's, when having kids you like they don't know they they don't know everything you know what i'm saying so it just feels makes you feel okay like somebody understands me you know what i'm saying next thing is losing respect for yourself they don't tell you after you have a baby like some moms i've seen like a girl there's a girl that um she's a really really pretty girl and she's on my Facebook. I never actually met her in person, but she's on my Facebook. And, you know, she was a, she's a pretty girl. Like, she always kept her hair done, nails, everything. She had her baby. And, like, two days later after she had a baby, she posted a picture of her and her baby. And she's, like, all dressed up. And I'm like, girl, I wish I could do that. Because I'm telling you, my daughter's eight months. And I still don't even feel like getting up doing my edges putting on i don't feel like doing nothing all i know is to clean work and take care of my daughter i'm still in school i don't have no time i don't have the energy to even want to get up so then you start to feel insecure about yourself like i felt so insecure i'm looking at other girls like man now i have a mom body and i'm only 20 and it's like you just look at yourself like man nobody likes like look at this or i start to notice more things about myself that i don't like and I know other women go through the same things, but I'm start, starting to learn it's okay. Like, you're a mom. And, you know, some somebody going to love us women with mom bodies. Like, it, it, you know, it is what it is. But, yes, nobody tells you about how you lose respect for yourself or be insecure and don't have no confidence. Nobody talks to you about that. But it happens, and it's normal, and it's okay to feel how you feel. But realize you are beautiful. You are beautiful no matter what anybody got to say about you. The next girl, don't compare yourself to the next girl. The next girl might have a flat stomach, might big boobs and, and big butt, and she's pretty. But her life might not even be what it is, you know? It might be Photoshop. You don't even know. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, <laughs> so the next thing they don't tell you about being a mom is having no time to yourself. When you become a mom, that you're a mom. Like, straight up. You're a mom. That's your job for the rest of your life. Like, you're a mom. It changes you. Your daughter or son comes first. Anything that you plan comes first. You will sacrifice. No, I can't go to this party. No, I can't do that. No, I can't do this because I have my child. When I get paid, the first thing, of course, you got to pay your bills. But the first thing I got to do is, does my daughter have diapers? Does my daughter have wipes? Does my daughter need medicine? Does my daughter have this? Does my daughter have formula? Everything comes first when you have a kid. You know, when I'm sick, still got to take care of my, my, my child. I'm tired, I'm restless, I'm sleep deprived, I'm this, I'm that. I'm still a mother. My daughter comes first. My feelings do not matter at all. Hers does. So yes, when you become a mom, you realize nobody matters. No relationship, no friendship, no amount of money, no nothing matters before your child. So that's what you have to learn as a mom. Nobody tells you that, you know? It's plenty of times. It's things that you just want to do every mom everybody wants to do your kid comes first you don't just leave your kid with anybody you know what i'm saying so so the next thing i will say is staying in the house don't nobody tell you how much you gonna be up in that house when you got a kid the house is your best friend you ain't got no best friend the, your best friend the house that house apartment condo whatever for your trailer whatever you live in that's your best friend and be happy that you got that because that's your best friend you will be in the house so much it might drive you you know insane it might drive you crazy but that's what happens when you have a kid you know i was told we have a newborn newborn doesn't really need to be going outside as much you know the newborn needs to be inside you have to make sure everything's clean you know fragrance free Yes, it does drive you crazy as a mom to just have a kid. You are sleep deprived. I'm telling you, you ain't get no sleep. That's that's the next thing. You don't get no sleep. And don't even think, oh yeah, I'm finna take a nap. No, you're not. You take a nap when the baby take a nap. You gonna sleep when the baby sleep. Like my daughter now, she her naps, she take 15 to 30 minute naps. So I cherish some little 15 to 30 minutes because that's all I get. It is what it is. And we go to sleep. My daughter is now starting to sleep throughout the night uh she gets up maybe once or twice some nights she might get up four or five times but some nights it's one to two to three so it just all depends um but yeah you don't get any sleep and it just drives you crazy and it's like when you're in a relationship 
yes, your boyfriend's going to sleep. You gonna be like, oh, it must be nice. It must be nice that you just sit here sleeping and I'm so tired. Just realize you're the mom. You got to do what you got to do. You know, it is what it is. Guys are not moms. We're not guys are not women. They're not built to be what we are. They're not built like we are. So, yes, we have to do what we got to do. But no, you do not get any sleep. I say maybe I've gotten maybe one or two naps since she's been born to literally without me watching her. But, you know, also another thing I will say is being a mom, you'll be like, man, can you watch the baby for me? You're like, I really, I'm tired. And then you go in there, get ready to go to sleep. you like, I need my baby. Like, I, I, I don't know what you're doing with my baby. Like, I don't know if you're doing it exactly how I'm doing it. Like, <laughs> You know, that's the type of mindset moms have. Like, one minute we like, I'm tired. I just need a break. But as soon as we get that break, um, bring me my kid back. Like, I can't. I can't do this. Like, bring me my kid back. So, yeah. My daughter's out, you guys. So, she just took her nap. But I will say that is a summary of, of everything it is that they don't tell you about being a mom. But just know if you are a mom or you're becoming a mom, just know, reach out to other moms. You're not alone. Don't ever feel like you're alone. Reach out to other moms. So with that being said, that is what they don't tell you about being a mom. Hey, girl. Thanks for watching this video.